I migrated here when I was three with my mother as political refugees from Iran. We had very little when we first came here, just a suitcase. My mom could barely speak English, but we were given uh, healthcare resources and social services, and I realized quickly how important those things were, and I wanted to be able to give back uh, when I could. And I wasn't exactly sure how, but through my studies, I fell in love with health promotion, health education, research. So I wanted a profession where I could do all of these things and be able to, to give back to my community. My mentor, I'm very lucky, her name is uh, Dr. Donatella Tampieri and she's an interventional neuroradiologist at the MNI. To be able to be exposed immediately to the clinical side enable them to give a purpose to what we are studying simply on books or on, uh, on uh, web material. So it brings them out of the classroom and they put them in a social context, well, social being the hospital, in a context where there is a problem to be solved, but a problem which is larger than the disease itself. My feeling was that I could uh, leave some kind of uh, legacy, some kind of uh, uh, support, and I always felt that this is where my heart was, uh, even though I didn't live here. An attitude uh, of humanity pervades among the medical students. There's going to be a payoff. It won't come all at once, but it will come. It'll certainly stay with them in their souls for a long time. This particular program has resonated deeply with the alumni. And uh, individuals such as Dr. Robert Melnikoff have come to the fore, have come up front, and have supported the program, both with their um, inspirational support, their uh, words of support, as well as financial donations. The Ulcer Fellow Program uh, shows you the importance of getting to know patients as people because medicine isn't just about diagnosing and treating, it's also to treat the patient and the family and your community as people because that's what they are.